Happy Art Snacks Valentine's Day! Love is in the air and so is art. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you have not been with us before, this is Art Snacks Plus membership. It's a great thing of where you get art snacks, art materials monthly, and I do an episode every month on it. So if you wanna go check that out, I'll put the channel playlist right here so you can go see the rest of my videos. But without further ado, let's get into this box. So first up on the menu, we have the Princeton Heritage Series 4050 Synthetic Sable Brush Round Size 6. That's this one right here, and it's really pretty. It's like a royal, royal king's paintbrush. The two Sakura Koi watercolors, watercolor tubes, and that's in gray and ultramarine. So those are pretty fun colors. Then we have the Zebra Sensations brush pen. Is it in gray? It's in gray. I feel like I have a pen like this, just in black. I can't even pronounce that. I'm going to put this right here so that way you guys can see it and then you can pronounce it for fun if you want to try. An agave watercolor paper block. This, I thought it was a piece of wood because of how heavy it is and thick. So that's really fun. Um, the only thing is, is that we have two canvases here. Maybe I can make this one a gift for Valentine's Day. Maybe we can use this one for art snacks because I don't know how we can make two pieces and I don't want to really waste this on an art snacks piece since it is kind of really nice. I don't want to say waste on the art snacks piece. I don't want to just limit to an art snacks piece where I can only use <laughs> blue and gray and black. Of course, we have our art snacks sticker with cute little spring flowers. If I can get it to, there we go. Cute little spring flowers and our banana Laffy Taffy, which is disgusting. The worst candy in the world. All right, let's get to swatching. So we're going to start with our Koi Ultramarine watercolor. I've never used these watercolors before. Typically, I just use watercolors that come in a pan. Try a wash right here. That is a really pretty blue. And they are right, it does respond really, really fast to the, to the wash. The paper itself is almost acting a little bit strange. Like it doesn't, it feels like when I go over it, it misses some of the paper. We'll try our gray. Here's our gray. And then what's our, our zebra pin? Okay. Let's try mixing the blue and gray and see if we can get some different colors here. This is almost like a cornflower blue right here. That's a pretty color. I will say I do love this brush because it gives you a very fine line when you're wanting to work with it at the very end. So that's pretty cool to have. Now we should get on to the sketching now that we are all done with this. So let's get to it. I don't know why I was struggling so hard with coming up with an idea for our art snacks box this month. I think in my mind I was expecting a red or a pink color to get in the box, but then I just got gray and blue and it reminded me of this January sadness and January, I don't know, staleness, I guess I should say, of kind of what I've been facing just with my own emotions. So it wasn't the most inspiring box that I've had from Art Snacks, but in the end I did ask Hunson for some ideas and he told me he wanted to see a monster. So I started to think and I kind of toyed with the idea of horns and everything, but I just didn't feel like a monster was 100% what I was into. However, I did end up with a Jack Frost looking kind of thing at the very end, and I liked the idea of it. So that's what I went with. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty difficult trying to find the different colors of blue that I was wanting. Uh, we started off with this cornflower blue, and then I try to make it a little bit darker just to show kind of the shadow side of our Jack Frost monster. If you have a name for him, I would love to hear a better name than Jack Frost monster in the comments. I was super excited about creating this crown though, and I thought that the blue was a lot of fun to put on. I'm trying to, ta I'm trying to challenge myself now more with poses and trying to be a little bit more diverse in them. This one kind of shied away from what I normally do and made me 
create like actual human forms, which is something I need to get better at. It kills me, but I do need to get better at it. But this was a first, a first for me to, you know, get it done. And I was pretty proud of it. I like this ice billowing out of his crown with the snowflakes. It just kind of adds that pizzazz that this Jack Frost character needed. It makes me think of the Inside Out character with the flames coming out of his head, except this time it's with frost and ice and coldness, if that makes any sense, when my troll thought. Now, I didn't want to keep the background completely white because I felt like that'd be a little bit boring. So I did take my zebra, sen <laughs> zebra sensations. That sounds ridiculous. Try saying it out loud. But I took my zebra pen and I added some snowflakes and flowers in the background, as well as a light blue wash with my koi watercolor. And I felt like that just kind of made everything pop a little bit more. But yeah, there's the piece all completed. I really like the crown and the little flowers. I think those are my favorite parts of this entire piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always love when I see comments from you guys. They always make my day, make me super, super happy. But if you would like to check out more of my Art Snacks videos, I will leave a link to the playlist here up on the screen so you guys can check out that. But if you want to leave a like or subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. But if not, that's okay. Thanks for checking this out. Until next time, best wishes, warmest regards.